The puniest little giraffe weevil may not look like he can put up much of a fight against a big rival, but that doesn't keep him from getting the girl. The little guy just has to be a bit stealthier to make sure he gets a chance to mate. Christina Painting of the University of Auckland studies giraffe weevils in the forests of New Zealand. She describes how they got their name. The male looks like a long sort of giraffe in his appearance because he's got this really elongated part of his head. So the head is the rostrum, which is the really, really long part of his snout or his head, is actually an extension of his head. Um, and he's got his jaws right at the very, very tip of that. So it almost acts as like a lever because he can use his jaws, which is right at the very tip, to grab hold of an opponent male. And then he can move his rostrum or the extension of his head up and down until he's able to get a good grip and throw the other male off. Females don't use their snouts this way. They use the tip of their snouts like drill bits to make holes. They lay an egg in each hole and they keep drilling the tree even while the males are fighting each other. Painting has watched countless fights between male giraffe weevils. What she found is that small males can actually creep along and slip themselves between another male and a female. That's so that the small male can take his turn with the female. You can see that the smaller male just slowly wedges himself in between the mating male and the female, um, which disturbs the male that was mating. So the mating male then gets off and tries to pull off that small male. To stay in place, the smaller male can tuck himself around the side of the female. That way, even if he is detected, he doesn't get pulled off. At least, not in this case. But part of what makes a sneaker male a true creep is that he can slip in and move so slowly that he's essentially undetectable by a bigger male. Well, I guess his eyesight's not very good, and he can't, I mean, he's pretty big compared to that tiny male, so he, I guess he can't, he maybe just doesn't detect that something's going on, or he thinks it's the female moving, I'm not sure. What is clear is that big giraffe weevils bite vigorously, as painting describes. The biggest player on that screen, sort of in the center of the shot, is a male, a large male, who's trying to fight for access to the female. She's at the very bottom of a pile, so we see now the male that was mating with her getting picked up, the big male. So he waves the little male up and down until he gets a good, I guess, shot and then throws him off the tree. And now the bigger male is back approaching the female. The female doesn't seem to be interested or using those fights in any way to sort of assess male quality for her. She doesn't appear to be making any not any choice in who her mating partner is. She possibly might be making choice after they've mated in terms of what sperm she chooses to fertilize her eggs, but we don't know that yet. But certainly there doesn't appear to be any courtship and no role by the female in, in choosing a mate. So it's entirely the, sort of the sexual selection on on that long snout is, is definitely seems to be driven by male-male competition rather than female choice for a big male. And in all this competition, smaller males don't just sneak about. They choose when to sneak and when to fight. And they will grapple with another male, but typically only if it's a male of roughly the same size. This is a grapple, so they've matched their the sort of their body lengths side to side of each other. And the aim of the game is to try and use your jaws to grab hold of one of the opponent's legs or the, even their antennae and to try and basically flick them off the tree. The fact that small males can also fight as well as sneak, I, I, I do really want to hammer home that that's a really important part of their behavior because sneaking's not that unique among animals. But I think what's really cool and rare is that when a the sneaking or the subordinate males can also have a very flexible strategy. And it's probably why they're at least gaining as many mating opportunities as those larger males. It's good to know the little guys don't always finish last. <laughs>